Okay, so we're going to uh, just do a rigging instruction on uh, a Sailworks Retro 6.0. Uh, first off, we're just going to start with the components. So uh, this here is a mast. And you have your sail. And you have the boom. You have your mast extension. And you have your mast base. Okay, so first off, we're going to uh, take the sail out of the bag. Wrapped from the factory with some packaging. Basically, just take the sail and uh, unroll it. Up in the top, get rid of the packaging again, and uh, just check it over to make sure everything looks good. We're now going to. Uh, take the mast and uh, it comes in two pieces so we're going to start with the top piece which is the skinnier uh, end we're going to stick that in the sail just like so until we get to um, the end of the mast here we're then going to take bottom of the mast, we're going to insert it into the top of the mast, making sure that it's a snug fit here. And we're going to grab on the sail, and we're going to push the mast into the sail. Um, once it gets more difficult to push, you can grab up here, and start pulling it and push the, set, the mast all the way up into the top. When you get to the top, the mast is going to stick out of the sail, and you basically need the tip to go into this little cup. So push it back a little bit, and tighten it up against there. We'll go back down to the start, and continue to just pull the sail down um, to that position. Okay, so next, are uh, you ready? Okay, next thing, uh, we're going to start with the uh, um, figuring out the extension length. And uh, we have a 430 mast for this particular sail. And if you look on the sail, it'll tell you what the luff length is. So the luff length is the total length of uh, the luff of the sail. And on this particular sail, it's 448 centimeters to 452 centimeters. So what that means is with a 430 mast, we need another 18 to 22 centimeters of extension. So on our extension here, if you look, there are numbers, and uh, we will adjust. Um, for now, we need 18 to 22, so we'll try 20 centimeters of extension. So now that we have the uh, our uh, mast extension at the r uh, proper length, uh, you insert the mast extension into the uh, mast, and I'm going to show you how to um, make it so that you can uh, your rope is uh, goes through the pulleys without uh, any crossovers. So the first thing you want to do is if the sail you want the sail to your left, so um, have it laid out this way, the sail to your left, and uh, the rope will be at the bottom of the mast extension. You first take the rope and you go up on the inside pulley. So we come up the inside pulley like so. Then, if you look at the extension, there's two pulleys here. We want to go in from the top on the top pulley. So the rope is going to go in here and around the top pulley. Next, we are going to go down on the outside pulley here. So the, the rope will go down here on the outside and back towards the bottom of the extension. Pull on the sail, give it some tension, and this time it's going to go around the outside of the pulley and in And now, 
finally. Let's go around the bottom. And then finally, it will go up through the middle. So up through the middle pulley. And then out through the cleat on the extension, like so. And if you notice, there's no twists or tangles in the, uh, in the rope itself. And uh, it's very important because there's a ton of tension on these sails. So, so once you have uh, your ropes all in place, put some uh, good tension on the sail. Then what you need to do is you need to go back to where the joint is on the sail. Rub your hand along the inside of the, the luff sleeve. Just make sure that your mast is together properly. Uh, well, one thing that they won't cover under warranty is if you downhaul your sail and your mast is apart, it will break and uh, unfortunately won't be covered. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, put our boom on the sail. Um, just a couple things. This is a Chinook aluminum uh, boom. Uh, what they have here is they have a, uh, an insert for a uh, skinny mast. So. Uh, this particular mast that we're using is just a regular diameter mast, so we don't need that insert. It just snaps out, so we'll just keep that aside somewhere. And uh, on the back end of the boom, basically it has these little clips. You just push them out, so on both sides. So they'll just pull out like that, and then the uh, boom will extend out like that. When you put the boom on the sail, just uh, extend it out. Uh, most of the way, and then that'll give you lots of room to put the, the boom on the sail. Next, you basically just take the boom, the hole space downwards. Um, the logos will also be facing the correct way. Um, you slide the boom up the sail. So just like that. And uh, the, uh, this part of the boom will just snap onto the mast like so, and uh, make sure that this little rope here actually gets on the other side of the mast first. So this, will just go down there, and uh, you just close the lever, the rope goes around like that, and then on this side of the, uh, and then basically you just clamp it shut. Now on this side of the boom here, um, you can adjust the length of that rope. So if you need to tighten uh, the boom, then you just pull on this rope and clamp it off there. What that'll do is that just makes it tighter and you clamp that closed. Now that we have our boom on, we're just going to add some more downhill tension. You can do it by hand, uh, but these sails do have a ton of downhill pressure. So you'd want to wrap the rope around, say, a screwdriver or, uh, or you can use a rigging tool such as the, the rig winch, uh, which is made by Chinook as well. Um, basically, the rig winch works. You just uh, put the, uh, the rope through the hole and then all you do is crank it up. So we're going to add some tension to the sail. And what we're going to do, and then you just uh, clamp it off like that. So the next thing we're going to uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the uh, downhaul tension of the sail. On a sailwork sail, if you notice in the middle of the top of the sail, there's a little uh, uh, red cog. And uh, if, you, if you can see, I'm not sure if the video will pick it up, but if you notice this part of the sail is quite wrinkly. It kind of waves, whereas this side of the sail is very tight. So uh, what you want to do is you want to add tension so that these wrinkles come to this little cog. And uh, um, for sailwork sails, basically uh, bringing those wrinkles to 10 centimeters on this side is for kind of minimal winds. Bringing it to the cog would be for, you know, an average setup, and bringing it 10 centimeters past the cog would be for, for stronger winds. So I'm just going to go down and add some more tension, and I'll show you how that works. So 
I'm going to add a little more tension with the crank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add so that we're past the cog. So if we go back up here, and if you look at the sail now, you can see how the wrinkles extend past the cog. It's very tensioned here, and then now you can see here it's all very loose. And uh, um, so that would be kind of considered for high winds. You can reduce the amount of downhaul tension back to there for kind of moderate winds. I find that these sails perform the best when they're either at the cog or just a little bit past in terms of the tension. So finally we're going to attach the other end of the boom. Basically you're going to adjust it here. Uh, what I like to do with these sails is I like to actually have a fair bit of downhaul tension um, and then use the boom adjustment to uh, increase the wind range of the sail. So uh, basically as a minimum adjustment um, if you look at the back of the sail, you can see how the sail right now is sitting on the back of the boom. You don't want it resting against the boom, but as a minimum setting, you could adjust the boom so that um, the boom just comes off of, of the back of the boom. This part here is called your outhaul, and what you do is you would adjust your outhaul tension uh, the tighter you make it uh, would be for stronger winds and uh, the uh, looser it is would be for lighter winds and more power.